Rustam II completed its flight and fulfills the requirement of India's defence forces. Rustam II, India's long endurance unmanned combat air vehicle, UCAV, has finally completed its first flight early on November in Chaleg Ear, about 200 kilometres from Bengaluru. Once inducted, this indigenous medium altitude long endurance multi role drone is likely to be an asset for Indian armed forces for its surveillance capability as well as for its use as an unmanned armed combat vehicle. Powered by twin NPO Saturn 36 MT turboprop engines, the Rustam 2 is being developed as a long endurance surveillance platform capable of deploying precision weapons. With a wingspan of more than 20 meters and an endurance of 24 to 30 hours, the drone needs the runway to take off and land unlike traditional drone, which makes it more trustworthy. Rustam II success can easily fulfill this requirement of India's defense forces. India plans to procure more than 5,000 drone in next 10 years, countries including France. Israel and the US are eyeing major purchases. Air Marshal Chopra says, We are hoping big from Rustam too because if we do not succeed in these basic systems, then for us to succeed in making India in aviation, will be a big thing. So, we have to succeed in light combat aircraft Tejas and Rustam. From Rustam, we will proceed towards the launch of many other drone including our own Aura advanced unmanned reconnaissance aircraft, and things like that. We have lot of big plans ahead, but it is very important that Rustam succeeds. The capability of automatic takeoff and landing makes it comparable to some of the best in the world. According to the Ministry of Defense, Rustam II is being designed to operate at up to 30,000 feet above mean sea level altitude AMSL with an endurance of 24 hours from takeoff to landing, with synthetic aperture radar and long-range electro-optic payloads, up to 350 kg, at 20,000 feet it is designed to perform intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance missions for the Indian Army, Indian Navy and the Indian Air Force. Rustam II has a range of up to 250 km, however, sources says that first flight will cover approximately 100 km. Air Marshal Anil Chopra, retired, says, India desperately needs to have a good program for drone because China already has one B-500 drone and they are making 40-50 different types of drone. There are a large number of manufacturers in China which are doing it and, of course, until now, we have depended on Israeli systems. Now, the specifications which we have given to ourselves for Rustam are very good. But, we only hope that ultimately Rustam will be good. In any UAV there are basically two things which are critical, one is the quality of autopilot which the UAV has and second is the quality of the data link between ground and the UAV through satellite or whatever. Sources says that Trustum 2 will be more cost effective as it is pegged at 34 million US dollars per unit in comparison to Israel's Heron TP, which consumes a higher share from the limited budget of the Indian Defense Ministry. Meanwhile, India's Ministry of Defense recently floated a notification inviting a response from indigenous manufacturers for the procurement of medium-altitude long-endurance drone for use by three defense services. The Ministry of Defense recently invited responses from local manufacturers for the procurement of mail drone. The notification says, this will be under the Make in India initiative from Indian companies. The project would be based on proven or matured technologies where fundamental research is not required. Describing the operational requirements of drone, the ministry says, altitude ceiling should be around 30,000 feet or above, with endurance that should be more than 25 hours. The maximum range should be more than 250 kilometers. Looking at the operational requirements and capability. Once fully ready, 
The Rustam 2 drone will replace Israeli Heron unmanned aerial vehicles being used by the Air Force and the Navy. The team developing the Rustam 2 has faced weight reduction and systems issues, resulting in delay in its debut flight by over two years. It will now undergo through a rigorous phase of flight trials. The advanced version of Rustam 2 will include greater endurance and service ceiling, in addition to the ability to deploy a wider variety of weapons. The Indian Army, Indian Air Force, Navy and Coast Guard have all expressed strong interest in the Rustam 2, though firm orders will clearly only land during advanced flight testing. Thank you for watching.